everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to my art channel, glad to have you here. Today we are going to continue the series uh, exploring uh, the pigment color waterfall. Want to uh, do that in another pour. I'm not sure if I'm going to deconstruct or spin it out. We'll see what happens after the blowout with the hair dryer. But before I get you done on the canvas, I do want to show you the resin results from the last video with waterfall. And I had talked about um, how the house paint had dried, kind of dry looking and a little rough in spots. And I had mentioned that a top coat of resin would cure all that. And I was right because this is now resined. And if I come up close, if you did watch that last video, all the like little craggy areas that were in here and over here, poof, poof gone so so happy this turned out so great um with the resin top coat super super happy let me hold it back sorry for the reflection of the resin so that's that guy there glad to get that out of my system let me get you down and we'll get started on today's adventure all right here it goes again it'll be completely different painting that that one hurt y'all that one hurt this is Cronacridone Nickel Hazel Gold. Golden. This is the star of the show. This is Waterfall. I am so enamored with this color palette though. This will be a series. I'll do some landscapes with it. I'm going to do some just regular blooms with it some you know bigger blooms spun out in my doggy pool all kinds of stuff because uh oh you know what i put waterfall down um before i put down uh this is indigo da vinci fluid acrylics it was supposed to be the other way around we'll see what this looks like and then um the gold this might be okay this might even be better we'll see yeah so um, definitely a series with this palette. Let's put, let's put another little dollop of Cuneg down. And then my cell activator is lamp black. All right. Blow out. Um, earlier too, I had tried, it was funny because I had tried my little attachment on my hair dryer. It lasted like three seconds and I yanked it off because I hated it. But, all right, here goes. That was an interesting little blowout. The colors look different. Just that one change in the order gave me um, more of the indigo than waterfall. I mean, waterfall is still in there, but um, indigo is like, oh, it's my turn to be the star of the show. And I'm not sure I want that. I don't know. I guess I'll roll with it.
No, I'm not. Are you kidding? Who are you trying to fool, girl? All right, I made this little doodad up here so I had a place to put my next petal. So it goes cuneg, and then it was supposed to be indigo. We'll see how much of a difference there is. And then the waterfall. And then the gold. That's what it was supposed to be. And then I've been doing my little baby drop of a hazel gold and a baby drop. of the two blues and then the CA. Here we go. All right, pretty happy with that second blowout. Actually, kind of happy with both blowouts. Left some white. This might not be so landscapey, it might be more abstract. We'll see. Let's try not to uh, run lines of paint through anything. Did a bit of fond farewell to my Pretty little landscape I had going on. It just died. Oh my gosh, I feel like spinning that out. I really do. Let me stare at this. So this would all fly off. This will fly off first and then this, I'll lose some of this and some of that. A little of this and a little of that. I'm going to spin, y'all. Change plans. Just because I feel cursed by the landscapes today. Hold on. All right, that was the fastest doggy pool set up ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of worried because everything is new. And until you get paint going... Things are sticking over there at the other side. God, I need a studio so, so bad, y'all. I need a studio. I am looking furiously. Oh, that's why there's cookie cutters stuck in there. Little baby spins. Just watch the plastic for a second.
little harder. And we got full coverage now, I think, or pretty close to it. Let me stare without dripping anything. It's nice. That's how I feel about it. Like, it's just nice. So picky. I don't like this one corner. I'm gonna take some things off. It should fly off. I'm at the other end of the puppy pool, so I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing, but that one corner, not a fan of it. And since I poured over my magnificent, I'm not gonna get over it, uh, landscape, I wanna make sure I get enough paint off, so. See if anything becomes of that corner. Just about there. Yep, that did the corner. Okay. I think it needs like I shall let it go for like one one or two more revolutions. But you know what? I can just put a dab of blue right there. Yep. Let me uh Get this out of the pool and back up to my countertop. Let me come around to you to turn off the camera. I do love the colors. All right. I like. <laughs> I think. I think this one spot is too too dark, and I have these little sponge plunger things that look like this. They come in a variety of sizes. They're called, um, what are they called? Hold on. They're called pouncer sticks. And I've had them forever. Yeah, they're called Maestro Pouncer Set um, sponge applicators, high density. And I'm gonna use a baby one. And I have a feeling that if I do this here and I do it lightly, it the paint should fill up, hopefully, and I don't ruin this. Or I'll just stick my finger in it and get a dab of blue. But I'm gonna like do this and I'm pushing all the way down to the canvas and I'm gonna lift up. And what did that do? It made like a little flower bubble. You made a bubble. I don't want a bubble. Are you a bubble? Yes. <laughs> that was a big old bubble. And that'll slowly, that'll fill in. But I'm going to do that in a couple spots. Are you make a bubble too? You are. Oh my gosh, it'd be cool if you could get the bubbles to stay as bubbles. But they won't. Where's my skewer? Bloop. All the way down to the canvas. That's kind of cool, man. So if you really want to remove something like this circle here, that'll fit in there perfectly. Go all the way down and lift straight up. I'm going to make my little bubble right there. Bloop. And what do I want to do with those two? This one's already filled in because, like I said, that's, look at it. Going, going, gone. These two that aren't filling up, 
is where I'm going to put like the tiniest little drops of waterfall. One in there, one in there, and then I'm going to touch it with my finger to make it look organic right here. Oh, that was a good one, Karen. That one there. Make it a little lighter right there. Yeah, that's better. Needed a bright spot right there for sure. Good way to take out paint. I'm gonna make two. It's a little, a little area of brightness. And now I'm done. So look, this is completely gone and filled in. Like it never happened. That's so cool. Yeah. Let me get you down. All right, guys. I'm back with the dried results of this one. And um, I have to laugh because I was showing it to my husband. And Joe was all like, I love this one. Oh, my God. I love the blue and orange together. And they got blue and orange, and it didn't get muddy. And he was, like, raving, which he never does. Like, it's rare. Usually, it's like, yeah, I've seen that before. That's what I get most of the time. Yeah, I've seen that before. I'm like, no, you haven't. It's original. They're unique. No two are the same. And he was like, yeah. Uh -huh. Like, he's a tough crowd, let me tell you. But he really likes this one. And then I said to him, I don't really like the dark parts like here and here and like around the, the cells and like down here and over there. And he was like, well, what color did you use? And I said, indigo. And he's like, well, if you don't like indigo, <laughs> why did you use indigo? And then he proceeded to tell me how crazy I was because it gives it the drama and like you need the dark to offset the light parts and you know <laughs> and he's not an artist he has no idea what he's talking about other than knowing what he likes and of course he's spot on of course you need the dark parts to make the bright parts stand out um i'm just weird i don't know um yeah this one is quite bold and dramatic and yeah i'm gonna resonate and frame it and sell it because <laughs> that's what I do <laughs> there's the the part I guess I don't like here is like the cells up in this area got kind of speckly and my husband's like leave it alone I'm like okay I do like how it fans out here and fans out up here and then because it matches this whole part here and then you got like I don't know what this doodad is this doodad kind of bothers me but my husband says it's cool. It's like an upside down flower pod or something. I'm like, okay. He's like, just leave it alone. <laughs> it, was it was really funny it to be here. And here's the bottom of it. It's pretty awesome. Let me get you down like with the cells. Like can you see the two different shades of blue with the gold cells here on this corner? Super, super cool. Um, yeah, it's a keeper. What am I saying? Uh, let me know what you think and, uh, you know, whether or not my husband is a wise man, I guess. Let me flip All around. All right, so I just showed you the dried results. I'm going to show you real quick but before I say goodbye, uh, because I'm so behind on videos. It is now resined. It's not attached in this photo frame. I just threw it in here, but... It, this one, there wasn't any problems um, with the paint at all. So it pretty much looks exactly the same resin as it did just in the dry version a second ago. Oh, there's the waterfall blinging out. Super happy with this guy. This one will be on my website. I've made myself a promise to do better about putting content on my website for sale, waterfallcrugs.com. And yeah, that's it for me. I feel like this is a long video, so I'm going to go. I'll see you guys in a few days. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Boxing Day, all that good stuff. What's today? Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Tuesday. I'll see you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe.
Peace out.